Hi, I'm Richard Harris of Overseas Adventure Travel, and I'd like you to join me on a journey. A journey along the Mekong, a journey to the ancient kingdoms of Thailand, Laos, Vietnam and Cambodia. And in addition, I'd like to talk to you about the extensions that you can add to this trip to discover Burma and the Irrawaddy River and Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai in northern Thailand. But perhaps you're wondering, what would draw you as a traveller to this area and to this wonderful journey? Well, let me tell you, it's a journey with many stories and many aspects. During our time in Indochina, we'll see the great Mingkong River as a young river up north and as a vast spreading delta down south. We'll trace the histories of different people who's lived along its banks for centuries. We'll explore the ancient face of Asia, seemingly timeless cultures out in rural rice fields. And we'll see the modern face of Asia bustling and hustling in great cities. We'll also take one of the most spiritual journeys for any traveller as we spend three nights in Siem Reap at Angkor Wat, the great Buddhist and Hindu shrine lost for centuries in the jungles. On this OAT adventure, with just 10 to 16 travellers and a local trip leader, you'll be travelling through a diverse and different landscape. We've also made sure that because it's OAT, you'll get the people-to-people -people contact so you'll really understand the lands you're travelling through and make connections with the people who live there today. But I also want to tell you that this is a different and unique itinerary where our regional travel planners have used their expertise to ensure that you see both ancient and modern faces of Asia. There'll be three flights. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you a little bit about this itinerary and how we've built it so that you'll see more of this diverse and different heritage than most American travellers can hope to. We'll begin in Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. You'll spend three nights there. It's a chance to get acclimatised after the flight across the Pacific and to see the world of ancient Siam and the modern capital of Thailand. Then we fly up to Laos. There we'll have a total of five nights three in its ancient capital, Luang Prabang, and then we'll make the first of three overland journeys during this trip as we travel through the beautiful Laos countryside to Vientiane, its modern capital, for two nights. Then again, we board a plane and we fly to Vietnam, south, following the line of the river Mekong, down to the bustling city of Saigon, facing out towards the world. Always a great trading centre, vibrant and bustling with life. Then another overland journey, the second of the three we'll take, travelling through the delta of the Mekong from Saigon to Chao Doc, an extraordinary place that I'll tell you more about later. Then we travel again, but this time it's by boat, and we'll actually ride the great Mekong River. Imagine a freeway in your home state, but on a river, Every type of river traffic making its way to and fro, little local boats, bigger ones, trading vessels, we'll be in the midst of it, threading our way from Vietnam into Cambodia. And we'll arrive at the waterfront of Phnom Phen, Cambodia's capital, to stay for two nights. And then again, in a journey that most travel companies make by air, we're going to go overland through what I think is one of the most beautiful countrysides I've ever travelled in the countryside of Cambodia. And we do this so that you'll connect with the people there as you travel from Phnom Phen to Siem Reap. There we stay three nights in this town that is the gateway to Angkor Wat, the ancient city that still lies submerged in the jungle. It's a phenomenal place to visit, whether you're a traveler interested in art, architecture, or spirituality. And I'll tell you more about it later. Finally, we come back to Bangkok for a final night before heading home or perhaps up to northern Thailand on our extension. And you also have on this trip the unusual opportunity to explore Burma and the Irrawaddy River. Since we launched this program, over half your fellow OAT travellers have decided to explore Burma with us taking in Yangon, Bagon and Mandalay along the banks of the Irrawaddy River, this wonderful countryside of golden sunsets and golden temples. Now you'd expect me to say that you should explore Indochina with OAT, but I really do believe that this is a corner of the world 
where traveling in a small group gives you unparalleled access to all that is most valuable. The street markets, the monks, the hustle and bustle of the cities. With a local trip leader, you'll get more of this than you would traveling on your own or in a larger group. We also made sure that where you stay adds to your experience. We've looked for smaller hotels, centrally located, so that in your free time you can walk out and add to your discovery of these Asian cities and countrysides that we'll be visiting. And as our regional offices worked on putting this trip together, adding their expertise, they were also adding the value that you expect from OAT. I challenge you to look around anywhere at any competitor, small group or large, and you simply won't find an itinerary with this much at this price as you will with OAT. When I first went to Indochina a few years ago, I saw things I thought I'd never see. Angkor Wat once seemed beyond the reach of any traveler, tight in the grasp of the Khmer Rouge. And the Saigon I discovered was a hustling, bustling city, quite unlike anything I'd imagined from the newsreels of the Vietnam War era. And then there was the sheer beauty of the landscape. Those sunsets that made Indochina so famous are there the wonderful cities, the warm, welcoming people. This really is a journey that warms the human soul and leaves you bright and optimistic about our future in the world. So I hope you'll join me in the second half of this presentation and we'll take this journey along the Mekong as if in an OAT small group, traveling the itinerary to discover all that Indochina has to offer. <laughs>